Are you tired of getting this message on ChatGPT saying that you have reached your limit for GPT-40? Do you just want to keep on talking to it, but it's not letting you because you don't have the plus tier and you simply do not want to pay the ridiculous $20 per month that they are asking for? Well, then I have the solution just for you because I have found a way on how you can get GPT-4 completely for free without any limitations. This method even includes any extensions they want to add. And I've personally made my own bot that I will give you access to so that you can use it completely for free. So the website that we're going to be using here is called Coase.com. So I'll leave a link to the start page in the description and you simply want to go over to this page and go ahead and click on get started. From here, you can enter your phone number or continue with Google. Personally, uh, I do recommend just doing it with Google because it's the simplest way. But if you just want to try it out and don't want to give them your Google account or your phone number, you can actually also use just a temporary number they find online and make an account with that. That's how I personally started using this with a temporary phone number. But uh, after a while, I realized that uh, this website actually provides a lot of value. So I simply logged in with my Google account instead because it's just a lot more convenient. So personally, I'd recommend that you just go ahead and choose Google here. After you've done that, you'll get some sort of uh, starting process where you enter your name and uh, some other details like that. And after you've done all of that, you'll come to the start page right here. From here, you can choose from a lot of different bots and uh, just go ahead and choose one that you like. You can also just go over to uh, the search page right here and go ahead and search for them different ones. As you can see, I tried to find some that were built on GPT-4. But if none of these really suit you, you can also just go ahead and create your own bot. But that's not something you have to do because I have tried to make the perfect GPT-4 bot on the website. So here is my bot. I simply called it GPT-4. And uh, here I am on the development page for the website, but uh, let's actually go to the website that uh, you will be on. Okay, so here we are. I'll leave a link to the bot in the description. As you can see, it is using the GPT-4 Turbo 126K model. This 128K here simply means that uh, it has a very long history, meaning that it will remember all, pretty much all the stuff that you tell it. You could also choose the 8K version, but I don't know why anybody would do that because you simply do want the longest context window in a bot. I've added some uh, extensions here too. I see that uh, people use the GPT Vision, which I think GPT 4.0 is built on. And uh, that one is a lot better than this OCR one that I'm currently using. But the GPT Vision extension is actually broken and it doesn't work. Whenever you upload an image, it uh, simply returns that uh, you need to upload an image because it doesn't even find the image and it can't scan anything on it. So uh, that extension is pretty much useless right now. If it does work in the future, I'll be sure to add it to my bot. But currently it's not working. So the next best thing that we can get is OCR. So this won't understand any context in the photo that you feed it or any sort of document. If there's some sort of uh, illustration or some photo that you need to understand, then it won't be able to do that. But it's really good if you just want to scrape some uh, text from a photo and you don't want to type it in manually. So it's, it will still be able to do that. The browse extension, obviously, so they can search online and Wolfram Alpha because I personally use this for my studies as well when I have reached my limit on the normal GPT and uh, with Wolfram Alpha, it will be able to do complex calculations. And I have found myself summarizing a lot of YouTube videos too that I just don't want to bother watching because a lot of informational videos are just uh, stretched way too far and uh, don't really provide that much value. Hopefully this video is not one of them. And that's why I've added this uh, transcript bot too, so that you don't have to feed it the entire subtitles of the video. You can simply paste in the link and this plugin will handle the rest. And here, as you can see, it supports a lot of different types here. You can even upload Excels and uh, a lot of different uh, file formats. And a classic example I like to do is to give these chatbots a very difficult integral that is hard to solve without a calculator. And uh, that's why I'm going to be showing you guys how this bot is actually built on GPT-4 and it's able to do complex analysis that the normal GPT-3.5 model can't do. So I gave the same prompt to both uh, the uh, Coase AI and normal GPT-3.5. As you can see, I gave it this prompt and uh, it got the answer completely wrong. It's even negative, which it's definitely not supposed to be. If you plug this into uh, GeoGebra here, you'll be able to see that uh, the correct answer is 8 fifteenths. And when I give the same prompt to this AI, you'll be able to see that it correctly solved it. 
And here it only gave me the answer, but if I give it the prompt that it needs to tell me how I do it step by step, it will start generating how I do it. And it does use the correct method, which is using a substitution to make this a little bit easier. So yeah, it is a little bit slower than normal GPT because uh, this is using the GPT-4 model, which is a lot more advanced and uh, has a lot more parameters. So it takes a little bit longer to generate text. It's also a little bit slower than GPT-4.0 because they made some major breakthroughs with the GPT-4.0 model. You can actually even change this model to 4.0, but I found that uh, that uh, sometimes also breaks it and makes it so that images aren't able to be processed. Maybe that also has something to do with the GPT vision extension or something like that. But this is the most ideal bot that I found. And uh, I simply wanted to share it to you guys so that you guys also have access to GPT-4.